What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, string functions, and we're going to talk about this starts with string function. Now what is starts with? Starts with is a function that will look at a string that comes in, uh, you specify what you want to look for, so a, a name, a number, something like that, um, and then if it starts with that, it will return a true. If it doesn't start with that, it will return a false. So let's take a look at that. I'm in Power Automate here. I've got my flow, and this is a manual trigger float with a text input here. And then we have a compose action down here with an input here. So if I click on inputs, we then go over to expressions expand string functions and when I go down to starts with. So starts with checks if the string starts with the value. It is also case insensitive just like my last couple of videos on index of and last index of, which means that it doesn't look at the case. It could be uppercase, it could be lowercase, it could be a combination of the two. It doesn't matter just as long as that string starts with that text. So the parameters that we're uh, putting in are text and search text, just like those last couple of videos that we showed. So so if I click starts with here, I can then switch over to my dynamic content. We're going to put in this input. We're going to put a comma in. We're going to add a single, punct a single quotation mark. And then we are going to write the word hello. And we'll click OK. And that goes into the inputs here. So let's test this out. So I'll perform the trigger. We'll click test. Uh, and the input, I'll put hello. My name is Matt. Uh, Matt. There we go. We'll click Run Flow. It's done. You can see we've got greens, and the output is true. So this returns true because it begins with uh, hello, and that's what we had here. So let's try something else. Let's see if it returns false. So I'll test the flow again. I'll perform the trigger action. Click Test. Put my my name is Matt. Hello. And we'll run the flow. Click done. See it run through successfully. And this time we have a false. So that was because the string did not start with hello. It actually ended with hello. So this could be useful if you uh, get in um, data in from uh, different sources and things like that. That may uh, you may want to do different actions based on whether um, it starts as something or, or you know something like that. Uh, starts as a specific URL. If it doesn't start with that specific URL, go down a different path. So it has a lot of implications and a lot of uses. So what do you guys think? Do you use this? If if not, is it something you're going to be using going forward? Let me know what you would use this for down in the comments below. If you like this video, please like this video and please share it with your friends. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and encourage others to su subscribe as well. And I hope to see you next time.